Well, hello. I've been having a heck of a time trying to get a video in for this beer. I keep having some uh, technical difficulties. I'm going to try one more time here before I just say, screw it. Here it is. It's good. Anyways, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. Uh, it pours kind of a deep, uh, I don't know, like a deep, uh, I'm going to say orange, but it's actually more of a light copper, an amberish, a little hazy. That's kind of an eggshell head to it. Uh, El Gato Grande from Second Shift Brewing. India Pale Ale, they say. 7.6% serve at 44 degrees. They don't give, oh, no, just say 62 IBUs. So, I mean, it's, I'm not sure what style. They have another one called Submission that they call their West Coast uh, IPA, which, although this one uh, statistically fits that more, although that one does taste like a West Coast. Here's a big hoppy IPA that is done the way they should be done and has about four truckloads of hops. Uh, but the, uh, the IBU seems light, but there you go. The aromas are nice, if underwhelming. I mean, it's not in-your-face aromas. I didn't mean that necessarily as an insult. But, I mean, I've had brighter, more in-your-face, more aromatic IPAs. I just say, when you say something... Uh, when when you say something arrogant like an IPA that is done the way they should be done, I, I think you've got to really back it up. And I'm not sure this one does, as far as the aromas are concerned anyway. Although I really love the submission. You certainly get some, uh, wow, uh, you, wow. You do certainly get some uh, citrus on the nose, but I was just detecting some, some tea-like, like Earl Grey-like tea notes on the nose. I don't remember noticing yesterday, but maybe my maybe my nose is a little fresher today. Who knows? Oh, it's nice. Um, yeah. After you know, it's funny how the difference a day makes, and maybe your palate isn't as fresh. That's why I don't like to do grades. Uh, for me, a beer is either a buy again or it's not. Uh, but I, I've seen guys that do assembly line beer reviews, and what I mean by that is there are folks I've seen out there that will open up, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beers at a time, drink two ounces of each, go down the road. And after you've had that third, fourth, or even fifth, um, I mean, is, is your palate really fresh enough to pick up on the nuances? The truth is, if I posted the review yesterday, that or the review, the video that I did yesterday... Uh, it would have been inaccurate on this beer, yeah, because right now I'm picking up things that I didn't notice yesterday. Uh, a lot of bright orange in the flavors. I'm certainly getting some honey. This has a lot of citra hops, so you're getting those flavors that citra hops tend to deliver. Uh, you know, a lot of those tropical fruit -like notes and citrus. Uh, you, you know, you might interpret that as passion fruit, pineapple, mango possibly, but I'm, I'm particularly feeling more uh, pineapple and passion fruit. I'm also getting a lot of orange. Some notice that I say tangerine a lot, but here I'm feeling more orange than tangerine. It's, it's a different different flavor and aroma. What's very interesting is the way it dries up in the finish. Yeah, actually, the fact is, uh, I actually had this yesterday, but uh, uh, apparently my palate wasn't as fresh as it should have been because I wasn't getting a lot of this stuff. So had I posted the video that I did yesterday, it wouldn't have been accurate. I wouldn't have done this justice. I just have to wonder how many folks do the same thing after drinking. You know, they have six, seven, eight beers in a sitting and drink two ounces of each. Are you really giving an accurate representation? Personally, my opinion is no. My only issue with this beer, in all honesty, is price. It runs $12.99 for a four-pack of pint cans. So it is 64 ounces. Uh, truthfully, I would like to see this for me because I'm a bit of a tightwad at about $10.99, but it really is good. It is quality, so... Uh, and in the past, it only had been available in 25-ounce bottles at about, I don't know, 
eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and most stores I did see it at one store for eleven ninety nine, which I would never have purchased it for that because again I'm a bit of a tight one. But Second Shift out of St. Louis really is doing quality beers. They've been doing quality beers since their inception. So if you can find them, they're at least purchasing once. To, and you can make up your own mind whether it, it, it would be worth that rebuy. I got to tell you that Submission West Coast IPA, that was $11.99 a six-pack for just, or a four-pack of pint cans, I should say. Uh... It was $11.99 for the four pack of pint cans at only 6%. That beer really is a rebuy for me because the flavors were so spot on. It was so delectable and it was so enticing for the weather. I, um, I, and I have to admit that probably for my wheelhouse, for my taste buds, especially with the weather we're having, that one probably fits more my wheelhouse. However, this one is put together damn well. So depending on what flavors you like at any given time, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to say this is a buy again because I will probably purchase this one more time a few months down the road just for curiosity to see if I feel the same way. I am Thunderbird Whisper. <laughs> Who else would I be, man? Prolific beer drinker, beer evangelist, purveyor of wisdom, and all around good guy. Damn, Skippy.